Hi, YouTube. Hey, two friends and family, it's your boy GB Reviews. Today, I am reviewing another hot sauce. I just got another one. I got uh, the last dab in, um, which is a different last dab than the triple X one. This is a special edition, special edition chili day arbol edition. So, we're gonna see how hot it is. Um, I am. I didn't think the the last dab triple X was very hot, so this one may not be very hot. I'm uh, today. I'm just eating some regular uh, Peruvian style chicken. Uh, but we're gonna see so it looks like it's um it, i guess it's supposed to be hot it says a special chili edition by the heatness um it says on the scale this is oh this says it's two out of ten so that's not very hot um but we'll check it out and see what it tastes like we'll simply give us a good taste um actually um actually i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna do for you guys today i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna do two sauces for you today i got another one so I got this one, which is the classic sauce. So we got the classic and we got the last dab, uh, hot ones, um, special edition chili day arbol. This one says it's only uh, heat level. It says two out of 10. This one says, when I looked it up, it says it was like a five out of 10. This one seems to be more of a scotch bonnet base. It's gluten free. Um, so this is, says pepper X. It says it, um, I'm trying to figure out what peppers it includes, but it it looks like it includes habanero. It says organic peppers, apple cider vinegar, um, garlic, kosher salt. So we'll see. So we got this one. We're going to do two. And we're going to do the last dab, which is this one. Um, and this one has in it... Uh, my vision is bad, so you have to excuse me. It says... a. Uh, a zingy blend of mustard, ginger, and turmeric. So let's check it out. Uh, you know, I'm always down to try hot stuff, so we'll try the last dab first. And I'm, I'm using a lot of it just because I'm afraid it's not going to be very hot. Uh, so we're going to take a... Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, I got it on my computer, but we're going to take a big... Help him. Hmm. And as suspected, it's tasty, but not very hot. Let's soak in for a bit. Then we're gonna try this one. So I thought it was a Scotch bonnet, but it says organic pepper X peppers. I don't even know what that is. Pepper X, bred over the course of a decade by famed pepper farmer smoke smoking ed curry of pupper butt pepper company pepper x is the enigmatic powerhouse behind the last dab known for bringing stars and mortals alike to tears the earthy flavors of the pepper part pairs perfectly with the elegant simplicity of the classic so it looks like a scotch bonnet but they said it's not a scotch bonnet so we're going to check it out um it smells like a scotch bonnet too, so I don't know. The, maybe he blended something with the pepper X. All right, so we're gonna try this. That is considerably hotter than the last dab. Wow. But it has a distinct note of the habanero scotch bonnet pepper. To me, this tastes like a uh, Jamaican sauce it's a bit runny so just be aware if you pour some out it's gonna pour out quickly so you want to be careful but let's try it with meat because you know meat always changes the taste of things <clears throat> definitely hot Not the hottest I tried. We're going to try this again. You know, I don't want to write off these sauces as not being hot. But, um, come on, heatness. You got to bring the pain. Because you guys are on your show now. I'm thinking it might be, you know, smoke and mirrors. 
because it's not very hot. So we're gonna try that last dab again. It is a very tasty sauce, but it is not. Let me let me repeat. It is not hot. Look at this. My whole hand is covered. It is not hot. We're gonna go back to uh, the classic because the classic is bringing a little bit more heat to play today. Yeah, I mean that one, you can taste the heat in it. Um, it's still not super hot. Um, mind you, I'm not, you know, I've had some really hot stuff recently and I can tell you this one sits probably out of the last several like really hot sauces I've had. It probably sits like number five or something like that. Like I wouldn't give it to people who don't eat hot. This right here, I would give the people who don't eat hot. It is probably as hot as maybe like Texas Pete or something like that. Now let's see what I'm mixing them now because I just want to see what they taste like together. That's the sauce you should create. With this heat and that, with this flavor, and this heat, um, that is good together. I'm gonna mix that again, just so you can see what I did. I took a little bit of this. And I took a lot of bit of this, the classic. And then we're just gonna take a big hunk of chicken and we're gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna go at it. Mm. That's pretty good. The taste mix as well. Um, not hot to the throat. I mean, you can feel the a little bit of a burn, but not too hot. Your mouth's not hot. Um, but my nose is clearing. That's how I know the pepper's actually working. And... Um, the heat seems to be cumulative. Which is characteristic of Scotch bonnet peppers. If you eat a lot of Scotch bonnet peppers and you continue to eat more and more of them, they get hotter and hotter. And with all of the pepper things that I'm telling you about, just remember that one batch, like this one may be really hot because the peppers they use that day to make it, it's hot. But um, you could get the same bottle on a different day and it may not be as hot. And that's just the nature of kind of peppers in general. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, like if you buy jalapeno peppers from the store and sometimes they taste like bell peppers. And sometimes they taste hot. They're very dependent on the soil. And so the soil, the temperature outside, what generation they are in terms of the peppers, if they're first generation pepper versus peppers that you've been cultivating off of the same plant, um, you can get a very different taste. Um, with that, I think I'm, I'm gonna call it a day. I thank you guys for watching. Um, please try the classic, the good sauce. Um, this the original hot ones, the last dab, the uh, or I should say the special edition chili de or roll, special edition. This is a very tasty sauce. If you mix them together, you get you get an amazing flavor, and you get the right amount of heat. This is a uh, one of my you know, I would use this every day. So anyway, it's your boy GB reviews. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like below, hit the notification bell so you can hear more of my videos. And um, 
again, sorry I haven't been on my grind. I've been traveling, so my days have been off in terms of when I'm uploading. So this one I'm probably going to upload on a Wednesday instead of the usual Monday and Friday. But subscribe, like below. Please leave in the comments any pepper sauces that you think I should try. So far, I've been trying all natural pepper sauces. Um, I'm going to probably hopefully try some extracts once they send me some. But anyway, it's your boy GB Reviews. Thank you. I'm out. Subscribe, but like, but no.